I hate the G word, genre. And I hate it because that single word has screwed up so many aspiring writers. Let me start with a couple of examples. This is a fantastic Western, but so is this. And while you might think this is a Western, it's not. But this is totally a Western. And so is this, but not this. And one of the best Westerns the last few years, this, but not this or this. So let me explain the core problem here and then help you think about your screenplay in a better way. So here's the problem in a nutshell. The word genre at its core is used to describe a story and it's used to describe storytelling. And if you've been around my channel for any length of time, you know that one of the first things you have to learn if you wanna find success as a screenwriter is to be able to differentiate between story and storytelling. And when people who teach screenwriting or when people who talk about film in general mix up the elements of story and storytelling, all it does is lead to mass confusion for people like you who are trying to learn the craft. And the only way you can decipher between the two is to intentionally study the difference between story and storytelling, or to just spend enough time around films and film people that you begin to instinctively understand the difference, which honestly, takes a long time. So I'm gonna scratch the surface here, but if you wanna go deeper, you should grab my book, which pulls these things apart. Or if you really wanna grow as a screenwriter and equip yourself with the tools you need to find success, you should consider joining my Fast Track course. Links for both of those are below and both go into way more detail than I'm going into in this video because I'm just gonna give you a 30,000 foot view. Story is concerned with what actually happens in the movie or TV show or novel or you know whatever, okay? The characters, the setting, the plot, the conflicts, and even to an extent, the theme, at least on the, you know, what's the story about kind of front. Storytelling, however, is concerned with the audience, what they see, what they feel, what they experience when they participate in the story. And that's about as simple as I can make it, so if you need to rewind and commit that to memory, you should. And now that you know that, here's the problem with the term genre. Often when people talk about genre, they talk about their experience with the story. And if you recall what I just mentioned like 20 seconds ago, the experience of the story has to do with storytelling not story. And when using the word genre, typically the experience, which is storytelling, is also paired with what is seen on screen. And what is seen is often related to setting and characters, which are story elements. So to follow this logic, if I see a character in old Western clothing who is riding a horse, if I'm using genre to describe the movie, I'd just straight up call it a Western. But that would mean that this is a Western. It's not. It's a heist movie set in the Old West. And what further complicates the use of genre is this. In film, the genre of a film is primarily a marketing tool. It's used as shorthand to give people the impression of what experience they will have watching a movie and also what they will see. So it's intentionally mixing story and storytelling. But marketing people don't know they're doing that. They're just trying to get butts in seats. They don't care if the story is actually a Western or not. They see horses and the Old West, it's a Western. And so when you look in online lists like Rotten Tomatoes for a list of the best Westerns, you get this, a thriller, a heist, and an actual Western. Or further down the list of Westerns, you get this, a murder mystery, a gangster film, and an escape film. So here's what you need to do. You have to stop thinking of your screenplay as a genre film, because when you do it, you're going to naturally mix together the story and the storytelling parts. And when you're writing a screenplay, you have to first think of and figure out the story. And once you have the story figured out, which might be a Western story or sci-fi story, war movie heist or whatever, then you have to figure out the best way to tell it. So when I use terms that you may think are genre words like Western war, sci-fi heist, etc., I'm talking about them strictly in story ways. A Western story has a very distinct story pattern. And if you want to know what a Western story pattern is, it's this. The ultimate hero of the story, when we initially meet them, is hiding in a role that is not suited for him. It goes against his very nature. He lies about his past, or at minimum, doesn't broadcast his sordid past in real life. But a social crisis is presented. 
often the mistreatment of a woman, a child, or a beloved pet, and the hero gets off of the couch and wades into the fray, tentatively, but you know, they're going in, but they're not fully committing. They're just deciding to act and do something because they think, you know, I can kind of help here. But shortly thereafter, they regret what they've done and they try to backtrack, but it's too late because now the antagonist is actively pursuing them. And at this point, the hero is confronted with a choice. They can flee or they can return to their sordid past and wreak havoc and justice upon the antagonist. And then they make a decision, often through seeking permission or asking forgiveness from someone. And then once they have it, they wreak havoc on the antagonist, often obliterating everyone associated with them. So maybe rewind that, make some notes about the Western story pattern and what it is, and then go and watch Unforgiven, The Equalizer, and John Wick. And you're going to quickly realize all three are basically the exact same story. All Westerns, but not all marketed as Westerns. Remember, genre at its core is a marketing term. So don't go around thinking you're writing a sci-fi or horror or whatever just because you have aliens or people feel scared when they watch it. Focus on your story first and then focus on the storytelling. And don't get hung up on the genre. Let the marketing folks sort that out once you write a script that sells. And if that's the trajectory you want to be on, writing a script that gets you in the room and has a chance of getting you work, you not only have to know the difference between story and storytelling, you need to learn the narrative tools of both story and of storytelling. And you can totally do that on your own and take a long time, or you can get on the fast track. And I'm finishing up some enhancements to that work at your own pace course, and I'm having a crazy stupid Black Friday Cyber Monday sale if you want to take advantage of that and change your trajectory as a screenwriter. Go to this website, click on the fast track, to learn more. But if you're like, nah, I'm good, Jake. I just want to take my time. I'm not really interested in massively accelerating my learning. That's not a problem. Maybe watch this. If you found value, don't forget to like and subscribe so others can find the channel. And when you tell a story, don't get distracted by the genre and tell a story that matters. See you later.